What if you could extract data from any website, turn it into a clean, structured spreadsheet in seconds without writing a single line of code? Let me show you how. Imagine your client is at a major conference and they ask you to get the bios and contact information for every single speaker so that they can follow up with them. The old way of doing this is spending tedious, innumerable hours copying and pasting all of this data. But with Thunderbit, this is a whole different story. Thunderbit is a free AI powered browser extension that does all of the heavy lifting for you. You open the conference website, Tell Thunderbit what you need, or an even better usage case, let the AI decide what content it's pulling. And in just a few clicks, you will have a perfectly structured list of leads ready to export as a Google Sheets, as Airtable, or you can even sync it to your Notion. Look how fast Thunderbit pulled the speaker data from this list that we have here. In the past, compiling a list of information like this would have taken hours and hours and hours of work. And now you can do it in literal seconds. And the best part about Thunderbit is it's not just for websites with speaker details. You can actually scrape almost anything you want to. Here's another example. You're a VA and you're looking for new potential clients for your business. Let's say that you prefer to work with tech founders who live on the West Coast of the United States. You can ask Thunderbit to scrape together details and data from LinkedIn, saving you a lot of time going through each person to see if they're a good fit for you or not. The AI tool is awesome because it does pull relevant details right from the page you're looking at. If you feel that Thunderbit is not quite pulling the data that you want, you always have the option to add a field and then denote what it is exactly that you're looking for. Or we can manually enter our own fields by entering things like the person's name, their title, and maybe even email address. Now, I just mentioned that all of your outputs could be on a table. You can also do things now like connect to your Airtable if you have an Airtable account or your Notion if you have a Notion account. It only takes a couple of clicks to tell Thunderbit what they can access and where they should put the data. So let's see this in action. I'm going to rename this LinkedIn leads. So I've just opened my Notion account. I've gone to the page where I've told Thunderbit to put the details and here are my LinkedIn leads. The coolest thing about using Thunderbit to compile potential clients is that it makes it so easy to keep a list of potential people that you're interested in reaching out to. One of the things I love that the AI suggestion suggested was mutual connections, allowing me potentially to ask a friend to give me a warm connection to somebody I'm hoping to work with. But wait, that's not all. If you're a virtual assistant who works with online sellers, either through sites like eBay or Amazon, you can also scrape the data here to get a look at SKUs or product details. Thunderbit is also a great use of your time if you are working with a client who's trying to compare products and maybe find the best price for something that they're looking for. It could not be any easier as Thunderbit will scrape the entire page in seconds. Plus the way that it creates tables so quickly and presents information is going to make you look like an absolute rock star. From here, you could simply download this table, open it as your own Google Sheets or Excel if you're working on Microsoft systems. Once you're in something like Google Sheets, this is where we can clean up the information quickly. We can also do things like organize the product data by price or we can add things like filters to make sure that we are connecting our clients with great resellers. Thunderbit even works for research. If you are helping your client or you yourself are interested in research, it even pulls from things like PDFs or long form blog posts. Let's say for example, that you are helping your client compile some research about America's very first black private detective. This will scrape together all the details like the article, the article link. It will tag the article content for you, helping you keep everything in order without spending hours doing so manually. Something like this is so invaluable to every single VA because this tool does so much heavy lifting for you without you really needing to understand how it works or how to code on the back end.
Imagine presenting to a client a spreadsheet that even includes highlights from the article itself. Your client will think that you are the bee's knees. The best part is you don't have to tell them exactly where you found these details. Some other honorable mentions that I love about this tool is that, again, it's an extension. But I do want to mention that although this is a free tool, certain features like subpage scraping are locked behind a paid account. But even having said that, I find Thunderbit's free features to be more than enough to help me with some of the use cases for my clients. If you ever get to the point where you're ready to upgrade, know that they have a starter package at $9 a month, which is quite reasonable, or a pro package where they quite often have discounts. Hopefully this information was helpful to you. Thunderbit has become one of my most favorite extensions because it does the tedious work for us. So if you're a VA that works a lot with clients on things like lead generation, a lot of research, product research, there's almost nothing that this tool cannot do for you. And last but not least, if you are looking for more tools to help your VA business, check out my tools playlist right here on YouTube and be on the lookout for a brand new program I'm releasing on my website, erinbooth.com, where I go through the best tools for our business, how to use them effectively, and we will be doing a heavy focus on AI. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video and I'll catch you on the next one.